Uh, hello, my name is Nero Sresta and I'm an application specialist here at Blue Marvel Geographics. And uh, today we are going to talk about uh, how to style LiDAR in Global Mapper. So in this workspace, uh, I have two LiDAR uh, two-point clouds, uh, one derived from photogrammetric and other from LiDAR, uh, which is basically taken from USGS website. Uh, so here we can see uh, two point clouds line up uh, to each other. Uh, we have some uh, option to change the styling uh, in Global Mapper. Uh, so basically, uh, we will go to uh, call, uh, this LiDAR draw mode in LiDAR toolbar to change like how the data is displayed. Uh, some of the options here are like a color LiDAR by elevation or intensity classification and as such. Uh, so uh, this is a global setting. And if we uh, uh, select any one of this uh, option, uh, it will be applied to all the point clouds in this workspace. Uh, but uh, if you want to uh, apply the uh, specific styling to a specific layer, we can also do so. Uh, for that, we can go to, uh, uh, we can select the layer uh, uh, in the control center and then right click and then go to options. And then here uh, we have in the LiDAR display, we have draw mode. Uh, so by default, it will use the global setting from this toolbar. Uh, but if you want to change specific to this layer, we can do so by uh, changing uh, the draw mode to uh, color by source layer and uh, use custom color. We can choose any color we want to visualize it. So for this, I'm going to uh, select the red color for USGS LiDAR. So click OK, apply, and we can see the immediate effect here. Uh, um, similarly, we can do so uh, to photogrammetric uh, point clouds. Uh, I'm going to select blue. Uh, for example, in some instances, you may need to differentiate uh, two point clouds by source, uh, one being uh, from the photogrammetry and other being from the LiDAR. Uh, to visualize and differentiate the two point cloud uh, better, uh, this color uh, this coloring or styling uh, uh, does help. Uh, to see the offset or different differences between these two LiDAR, we can use the path profile here uh, and select it. So we can see in this uh, path profile view, uh, the red color, uh, which is the USGS uh, and the blue color from photogrammetric and there is some offset uh, found in this. And also in the um, part profile, we have these options to change the color uh, using the same options available here. The only difference is that when we apply this uh, color, color uh, it will be only be uh, visualized in part profile and it doesn't affect the other window. So we can see the source layer, our elevation, our intensity, and as such. Uh, so there are some 3D visualization options in Global Mapper, which can be accessed through this range option configuration and 3D view properties. Uh, the same option can be accessed through 3D view dialog, uh, the same uh, icon uh, and 3D view properties. Uh, so there are a few options uh, like vertical exaggeration, uh, field of view, and lightning controls. So the vertical exaggeration uh, uh, enables you to uh, enhance or suppress height of the data you have in your 3D uh, dialog. So uh, for example, uh, if you have a fairly plain and uh, there is not much difference in your data, uh, it may be hard to see the changes in a normal view. Uh, so if you want to see the changes, uh, you can in uh, you can enhance the vertical duration um, uh, by putting by increasing the number. For example, in the five point seven five, uh, the data is much uh, exaggerated. 
Uh, so there is also a field of view options. Uh, so this is basically how wide or narrow uh, you want to see your data in 3D visualization. Uh, this is uh, uh, simply like zooming in or out. So if we uh, increase the value, uh, we are zooming out the data uh, to see the wide uh, perspective of the data. And if we uh, decrease the size, uh, then it's like zooming in the data. So the background color, we can change the background color uh, to, to the user's choices. Uh, but to change the background color, uh, the sky box has to be in non-solid background. Uh, and we can change the background color from here. So I have changed the background color to white. Uh, and also we have some uh, options to, to uh, show the lightning controls, uh, which is called item lightning. Uh, so it enables uh, uh, users a better visualization of 3D data by enhanced uh, lightning techniques uh, to highlight depths and degree uh, uh, in the middle of the scene. Uh, for example, if we uh, increase the strains, uh, we can see uh, the point clouds being uh, focused and we can uh, better uh, differentiate the structure of the point cloud. Uh, for example, uh, the building is much more uh, focused uh, when we increase the strains. Uh, the radius uh, works by analyzing the depth of images uh, around its pixel. Uh, the higher value strains uh, the effect of item lightning. Uh, so the acceptable value for radius is one to four, uh, four being the highest enhancement and uh, one being the lowest. The fall off uh, setting can gently change the display. I, uh, is dome lightning works by analyzing the depth of image around uh, its pixel from each point. Uh, the effect look at looks at the difference uh, in depth uh, from the center pixel of that uh, circle and only considers points that are farther away from that circle. Uh, some of the options for fallout is linear, um, inverse of linear, uh, geometric, and inverse geometric. Uh, so, uh, so if we want to change the point size in the 3D view, uh, the option is only available through 3D view properties, data display, where we can um, adjust the point size. For example, if I put the tree, the point size would be increased, increased in the 3D data, 3D view. Uh, and uh, there is, uh, so if we use the digitizer to select the point clouds in the 3D view, uh, it's not uh, that uh, highlighted uh, as a default but if you want to change that we can do so by going to LiDAR selection display uh, and uh, click stylize selected LiDAR and choose the color we want uh, for example I'm uh, choosing uh, red color so the highlighted part would be uh, turned into red color uh, so we can also inverse the selection uh, for example if we uncheck the stylus selected LiDAR, the unselected part will be highlighted in the red. Thank you for watching. Uh, for more information about Global Mapper, please visit us at uh, bluemarblegeo.com. Uh, if you have more technical questions, uh, please feel free to reach us at geohelp at bluemarblegeo.com. Thank you.